Good morning, how are you doing? Uh, another video, Plummer did another video, isn't it? Um, I'm, uh, I've got to say thank you to all the guys on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We've put things out there. My wife's um, seriously not very well uh, with breast cancer. A couple of operations in. It's, uh, it's not a good place to be. But, you know, we're staying positive. We're getting on with things. We're getting things done. Thank you for the... Uh, Best wishes, and the house looks like a florist, which is just wonderful. It's, it's, the house is full of flowers and positivity, and we're just getting through it. Anyhow, back to me in the videos, uh, working on this thing, doing that, doing this today. This thing is a pain in the neck, but it's, it's got to be done, and I'm going to put you in the stand so that you can see what's happening. Grab yourself a cup of tea, put me on pause, whatever your thing is, I don't mind. And uh, we'll get this really awkward bit done uh, in this video. Uh, I've got to say as well, you buy me a coffee, guys, are the best. It's much appreciated, especially right now with what's going on. And, um, yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Ooh, spooky with cobwebs. Okay, let's get into this. So let's discuss what's going on. Let me zoom out a bit. There you go. So, centre line between these two outsides, I've got myself a centre line just there. Also on here, I've put a centre line as well. So these two should line up like that. There you go. You're seeing what I'm seeing, so that's great. But this has got to sit, let me just sit you there. This has got to sit like that, flush on this side. That's got to be let into that piece of wood that much. And then this piece of wood has got to be recessed around this pull-out part, but also that underside there has got to sit on top of there, and this will come out. Let's not get too involved in the fact that some more of this has got to be sitting all around here at the same time. So, yeah, there's lots to do. Okay, let's fit that into there. And I must remember, never say don't forget, I must remember that as I'm fitting into it, I've got to use this as a packer under there to stop me from recessing it too far deep into it. Let's set you guys up and we'll get on with it. Okay, so I've got lots of double checking going on because the last thing I need to do is make a mistake on this thing that's had so many hours spent on it. It's unreal. Um, marking knife. You might as well come up to here and see. That little centre line I found, I'm going to mark down onto that side. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Again, I'm going to check it. That goes into there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a big pencil mark on there and put back. And I'm going to put black, B-L-A-C-K. That's the side of it. And the reason I put black on there, see, I've marked it wrong. That isn't. I'm wrong. That's the, that's the polish side. So get that off. Now, is this my head because I'm going mad? Or is this because I'm filming and I'm worried about making mistakes? The actual black part is over here. This is black because the black section is trapped in between the two parts that are exposed to the glass. Right. That goes like that. Goes like that. Yes, it's black in here. Do it again. I'm not going to edit that out. Black. Right, let's square this line round. So, whoops, I can drop, I can drop my knife in that centre line. Which comes up to there. And, and you know what? If it's a fraction off the centre, it's, it doesn't matter. It's not like it's... Um, Right, so there's the centre line, and I'm just going to mark, probably from there. There you go. 
So that's that center line there. Continuing down there so I can mark here and I can mark there. Will I find those in a minute? Probably not. Bit of pencil. There you go, that'll do. I can see them now. Right, and I've got to go down. So this is black, and I've done that because I've got black on here. So that's actually, this has got to be flush with that. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm making it so that the original blackout part is flush with the new blackout part. There you go. So now I've got to square these down and only go as far as the thickness of that piece of wood. So I can, so I can put that there. I can put this here. Probably easy if I hang it off the bench. And that's my depth. At least I haven't made a mistake with that bit. So let's pull these up. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to push nice and tight because I want that. I'm going to put a block in between there and the end of the. There you go. I've got loads of pressure on there now. That looks great. So this now is. Oops. And I'm just going to mark in the centre. The reason I'm going to mark in the centre is because if there's a discrepancy, this is upside down, if there's a discrepancy, it's not going to be a discrepancy in the centre, but it could be either end. So I will now get marking gauge and run that across the... I've slipped a bit there, but that will go. Right, let's go and get the... Um, can you, are you seeing this? Let's go and get the uh, marking gauge. Right. Let's put that over there. So I'm working from that, that sharp line there, which I'm just gonna push into there, the sharp line. There you go, beautiful. And now <clears throat> mark there you go that's good okay let's just go over these lines again I'm just going to double check these with a square and if I want to make them a bit tighter I can just squeeze it over this just make it a little bit tighter. Not much, just hair's breadth. Um, there's that line which will go quite easy with a bit of light sanding. Right, so now I've got to chop this out. Tell a light, I haven't got to chop that out. I've got to mark a bit more, haven't I? Right, where are you? Yeah, you guys can see. That's there. That's got to come down. So yes, that's the side that's got to go down there, but I've got to take some out of this for this to fit. So where's that lovely line? There it is. And it's quite deep, so let's set the let's set the marking gauge up to suit. Everybody's using these wheel marking gauges nowadays, but uh, this this uh, this old thing of mine's great. I did sharpen it to a lovely point, um, so it's filed that way inside and out to give me a lovely sharp point, slightly raised, uh, slightly rounded. Um, so it's in between a cutting gauge and a marking gauge. Um, and now I'm just gonna. That's. Oh, it's just a little bit much there. So what you do with the marking gauge for setting up is just tap it against the bench. There you go, that's it. 
that's it right tighten them up so that's what's got to come off here So this now, this section is ready to come out. Let's just put a, do I need to put some lines on it? But you know, just for you guys, that's coming out and this is coming out. Don't know how much of that you can see. You can see that, great. All right, let's do this. I could, um, you know what? I could just get the saw. I could put a piece of wood in the back there. I'll get a strip of wood for that. and um, let me lift you up, you can see what's going on. Why don't we put a couple of saw cuts to work to. Must remember that this is a rip saw, but because it's 20 teeth per inch, because it's 20 teeth per inch, it's gonna cope with it with a very gentle touch. set up my router. I'm going to get this done quicker. I need to get this job done. Let's get the router out. So I've set my router up, got some extraction, got this thing. This is cramped down onto there. That's there. This is the area I'm going to take out. Extraction right there. And uh, let's get this thing done. Right, okay, that's not bad. So that's, as you can see, it's not quite as deep. I've got to take a bit off with the chisel. We'll sort that out next. I'll tidy this lot up. Get on to the next bit. Okay, you're happy. It's in the knife cut. So I'm removing half of the material to the line. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do is go and get a wider chisel. Just going to give it a quick once over on the strop. Correcting the angle there, just in case I was not quite right. Pretty good. Put it on flat, draw it back. Put it on flat, draw it back. Don't ever lift it. That should be pretty good now. Lovely chisel from the 1980s. Oof. Looks like I need to go from this end. So the grain is going, the grain is going that way, and it tried to split past the line. So I can start this end, knowing that if it splits, it will split out here and not into the job. There you go. I haven't used it for a while, so I don't know how. Um, I can't actually remember the last time I sharpened it, so that's why I just did a bit on the strop. That edge doesn't want to fall off. There you go. There you go. And 
the good thing about this is if you um if you've chiseled some away it's a good edge you can put it on that edge and then use that like like you're shearing something like you and that's great and then as you get a bit more confident you can just touch the touch the edge put it into the line there's no timber in the way here to, to stop that from just collapsing in the right place and it's staying on the line so you can see the difference it makes with a nice big chisel sounds like it's raining outside Right, let's go in like that. Let's see what so I'm just sitting it on that flat surface that the router's done, wobbling it a bit this way and that way. So if anything, I'm not going dead straight down. I'm actually going um, from here exaggerated. I'm going in at an angle slightly. That could give me a a little pocket for the glue but it'll also mean that I can get this piece of wood really tight on this edge because that's the first place it's going to touch and I can cramp it in and glue it to this surface and to there and um, that's a huge surface area to get the gluing on so let's just continue this down I left more more on this end than that end. Don't know why. I love doing this stuff with you guys around, and you get to see like, the first time I put something together like this. Remember, I just tighten this up a touch. I need to put something under there now. So let's get rid of. Let's get rid of that. And let's put that against there. There you go. You can still see what's going on. So you're happy. Let's give this. Let's put that there, and let's just give it a gentle tap into place. Trying to keep it even. And the strip. Nice tight fit under there. It's just pulled that away, so that's great. So the strip is good. That's great. Well, you can tell your world working is not bad when you can just knock it together and it holds while you move it and turn it around. I've been doing it a while. It doesn't want to come out sometimes. That's great. I can actually hold that. That's I'm chuffed with that. Right, let's glue it on. That's good. Pleased with that. Can you still see? Yeah, let's get this glued on and uh, and flush there. I can put two pieces of wood and a couple of G cramps on that. What I'm after here is, wow. What I'm after here is a really good, good grief. It doesn't want to come out now. A really good joint on these flat surfaces. Oh, good grief. Doesn't want to come out, does it? Oh, there you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. Let's get some glue. Coffee sticks are great. Clean the end off with a chisel. Make yourself a nice little tool. Get your glue on. I like to get into the corners, it's the corners that 
where the excess will go. I think it's enough on there. Put it into the corners, you can ooze it up by using the stick, by just squishing it and it runs up towards the edge. And it means that you haven't got loads on the edge, because that's not really what I'm putting glue on this edge to make sure it's sort of primed. Got end grain there and there. So uh, it's good to get, get that covered. I'm going to try and just push it in like that and see if it will. That's good. Centre line's lining up. Nice, there you go, that'll do. I'll glue that down at that. That needs to be tightened. And you're probably saying, why is he hitting the wood with that? This is already damaged and dented, so I can do that. I'm not taking anything away from, that's flipping brilliant. That's brilliant. So, let's have a look the other side. Oh, the gap here is looking good. So it's tight over there, so that's great. It's tight there, so that's great. And this just needs to be a bit tighter. Oh, you know what? You know what? That's, there's not much in that. There's not much in that at all. Let's just give it a little twist. So one of my tips is get yourself a box with loads of bits and pieces in which you can use for cramping. Um, ooh, look at that. Made for this. Let's put those little tiny cramps on, because they're handy. Beautiful, beautiful. Big pads underneath, little pad on top so you can see what's going on. There we go. So look how tight these are. Glues in out everywhere, which is great. Lovely thing to see. Cramped up. Gap there is great. Gap there is great for the piece of wood. That is flush on this side, which is... I'm chuffed. I'm really pleased with that. And doing it in front of a camera is a pain in the neck, but yeah, it's done. Uh, and then tomorrow I need to look at how the strips of wood are cut on here cut those pieces of wood down to length because one's got to stop about here the other one stops on the same line uh, and then the other piece has actually got to come on here and go on there and all the way around there and be fixed to this so there's a bit to think about a bit to do uh, and it'll be great to get that done and sliding in out but this tomorrow will be sliding out on its own well let's get this thing off
So it's done and I've cleaned it up and it looks pretty good. A bit more glue to come off there. And it looks great this side. So I think, I think I've got a pretty good, it's worked really well. I've got to clean that glue off. Uh, next thing I really want to do is get this, get this glued up onto here. I've, I've got to get this sorted. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I've had, it's been a couple of days and I've had a few, uh, a couple of really bad days and I'm just getting, um, frustrated that I'm not getting very far sometimes and I do stuff and I'm beating myself up about a couple of things, mistakes I've made on something else. So um, not very happy with myself, but I'm going to put you in the stand and we'll get on with that. I'm sorry, I feel a real, I feel really fed up and I'm, and I'm, and I shouldn't. So uh, let's get you in the stand and we'll get a bit more of this done. Right, I hope you can see okay. So I've rounded that bit of wood there. And the reason I've rounded that bit of wood is because now that is fitting into that corner. So I don't want to, I want to make sure that nothing in that corner is stopping it fitting. So let's just, there you go, it's just, it's just fallen in. Right, now I've got this mark beyond the end of the sliding door. I've come a few mil over, it's about seven mil. I've done the same both ends. And I've marked that so that it's, um, I've marked that so that it's in line with that pencil line. And move slowly over here. Sorry if I'm moving fast. And I marked it over there. But look, to stop me from making a mistake, because I do make mistakes, I've put two lines on that cut so I know that piece joins onto that end. And over here I've put, where is it, one line one line through that line to make sure that I put the right pieces in the right place. So it's just silly little things like that that mean that when I put this back together, the wood, the colour will match, the wood will match and it'll all look pretty good. And sometimes I make these cuts with this old Japanese sword of mine, which is, I'm sort of quite attached to. I've had it a long time. Uh, it's a bit blunt in the middle, but the ends are great. So it's actually easier to start in the middle and then move it on to the end there's one So that's it, that's the bit that fits around the handle on the top. So those are the end pieces glued together and I've been cutting this out. As you can see it's nice and thin and delicate and it fits around here. Anyhow the next thing to do is glue this on and it's little sister piece which goes that side. So I'm just about to get the cramps ready. And, uh, and glue this on. But these little things are great because they'll do they'll do that width for me. So um, I'll get it glued up and then we'll be back. So it's all glued up. I've got little cramps on here. These two strips basically are either side of this and it's all sort of squeeze together to to hold it but look the glue's oozing out it's looking good i've had a cramp on here i've just taken it off so that you can see 
um, that squeeze down with this sash cramp here that squeeze down that way to make sure it's good on the top of there what, what I'm after really is I want that part there to be the bit that fits that goes here if it's accidentally slammed down it's take the weights taken on here and not on the ends of these pieces of wood where they'll break so it'll it'll be in the correct orientation when it goes down so it'll be parallel and it'll be going in square which is great but I want that strong bit of timber to take it I don't want the flimsy little bits to take it these by the way this little bit here is the bit that goes between the end where that pencil line is and there and that's got glues in out so it's not sitting straight so that's glued up the other ones here glued up that will sit over there so so I wasn't in a very good mood I wasn't very happy I was a bit miserable because of other things and now I feel much better because it's worked, it's glued up, everything I'd got in here, which I tried to get across to you guys. Um, and I don't think I did a very good job, but anyhow. Anyhow, it's done, it's done, it's glued up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, you guys who, you guys know who you are. I can't thank you enough, honestly, at the moment. Uh, it's, um, it's tough and get, trying to get through it and trying to make sure we get through the winter, so. Uh, much appreciated if you buy me a coffee links in the bio below um next time we come back we'll be cleaning that up and we'll put the hinge on so that'll be great because the next bit is a fabric hinge which i can show you now this is the fabric hinge and um, i can't wait to do this bit because once this bit's done it's all in the coloring and the, and and you'll see the relief on my ah and it's in the color the staining the polishing the blacking out and we're there so not much further to go thank you very much for staying with me and uh, another video in another few days thank you very much